nature and, and so really coming to life in there and, and 95% of what you see in there is all from our student projects. I've also helped create some of the things. Actually, I uh, helped put this together. Uh, this uh, took me actually to move it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this actually I did in a couple of days. So uh, that's the um, CPA display. We did potentially gas now that we're Orion is the module that carries the crew uh, that starts this journey to deep space. And, and whether or not we use Orion as the vehicle in which they stay to go all the way to an asteroid or, or to Mars before they transfer to something else that takes them to the surface, uh, that's, that's the plan right now. This is critical to everything that the Johnson Space Center does. If you look around, uh, this is what we do. We are about astronaut training, astronaut, astronaut recruitment, training, and operations. And so that's what we do here at JSC. Uh, where we have the crews, it's most important that the development of the crew vehicle is being done here where you have ready access to the astronauts. When I was talking to the folk over here, they were telling me there is a representative from the astronaut office who brings others over periodically to take a look at, at how they're moving along on the design to make sure that from an anthropometric standpoint, you know, reach and visibility works well. Um, this is what, what Houston does, to be quite honest. This is not just about Houston. This is about the nation, but it's about the critical role that Houston plays in this. We have always operated human space flight from here. And that's not going to change. If you go to the Mission Control Center, the Chris Craft Mission Control Center, uh, just recently dedicated to him, that's where we've always controlled human space flight. And we will continue to do that. So uh, I, I don't think you're going to see a lot of things different in, in terms of operational way we do stuff. Tempo will, you know, yet to be determined. Um, numbers of people yet to be determined. But I think everything's positive for here. But we're working hard, obviously, to accelerate that first crew date. 17, I think, is the real thing to focus on. And as Charlie said, we have some early flight tests before that that we're working with headquarters on doing. So we'll have, and I think it's part of also sustaining is having demonstrable progress in the next few years.